Shaike and all of his crew just ran after the boy, and next thing you know, police come out from nowhere. And I'll fucking see me, suck. I know what he is. City, you hurt. Don't jump, but we outside. Let us in the city, you hurt. This shit right here, we can you hurt. The Naughty Bop, I wanted to ask you about, you know, personally, because I saw you made a post about that, how you didn't support it. So, like, how did you feel about it when you first listened to it? I even never looked at the video, I never played it. I seen it on Instagram, so, like, what I seen doing it, I'm like, nah, whack, bro. Oh, I can't. I take it back when I said. Have a stroke to eat, I'll come outside, nigga. What about pops? Come outside. Think so. Your shit closed. Look, your shit hurt. Look. Yo, pour water on your shit. <laughs> I want to know. back like you tough. Hey, yo, squad. What's the drill? Back with another video, man. Hey, yo. The Bronx is a whole gumbo of gangs. No lie. This set linked with that set, then this set started beefing with this set, then this set that linked up with that set had a falling out and now they no longer cool. It's crazy how easy friendships are crumbling. Feds already on the Bronx drill rapper's coattail, so the internal beef is just further destroying the whole musical movement as a whole. Case in point is Shy EK and Sugar Hill. They were cool forming the OYOGs, but now it's mad disrespect. Dissing each other of their fallen homies and putting paws on each other like they wasn't just brothers a while ago and locked in for life. How in the hell did it get here? Things looking like it's going to end badly if the level of disrespect keeps up. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Charlene Perry, a.k.a. Shy E.K., a.k.a. Jiggy Man, is one of the Bronx drill pioneers, and he stands on that with pride. And um, since we're talking about the Bronx drill, right, who started that shit? Me, I started that shit. You started that shit? I started that shit. A couple other niggas did, but I played a big part in this shit. For real? Facts. He always been with it when it comes to coming at the ops next on Wax. Bro be attacking the beat mercilessly. Shy E.K. been with it and the recognition was reaching into conversations with the big players of the industry. Sure enough, he signed a record deal with Warner Brother Records, securing the big bag. We had like alluded to if you would want to sign a deal, right? And then it obviously that ended up happening. You made Warner your home. Um, why did you pick Warner? Because I'm sure you probably got a ton of nice little dinners and taken out and things like that. Because it was like, it's time now. Okay. You think it's settled down time and adjusting to the new fame and music artist lifetime, but Shy EK lives up to that EK in his name. Even with all the ganging, he was cool with the old wise and them in Sugar Hill. The old wise are the original young gangsters, also known as the original youngins. Shy EK was tight with men's like Sugar Hill D Dot, Naughty Osama, Naughty's bro Didi Osama, Sugar Hill Keem, Sugar Hill Sensei, all of them. Shy EK repped OGs, and together they formed one hell of a movement, the OYOGs. At that point, they seemed unstoppable. The Bronx drill was theirs for the taking, and out of the alliance was bangers after bangers. In his song DD with OI affiliate Blockwork, Shy EK can be heard at the end shouting out the man and them OYOGs. They was locked in for show, but that lifestyle comes with losses, and the losses can often tear up whole relationships. Just before 3 p.m. on July 9th, 2022, Nadi Osama and two friends were walking at the 137th Street and Broadway station when they came across this op, Martinez, who went in the train station to catch an uptown train. Reports claim Nadi and Martinez knew each other and were associates of rival gangs and had a series of escalations in the weeks leading up to the altercation. Nadi grabbed a broomstick and him and the gang chased Martinez into the station where they cornered him at the north end of the platform where they started putting in work on old boy and Martinez wasn't going and he pulled out the Rambo and did some damage. Nadi suffered a punctured liver and then he passed away due to his injuries while EMS was rushing to get him to the hospital. Just a sad situation all around man, senseless. Rest easy young fella, OYOGs was hurting. But none more other than Nadi's brother, Didi Osama. It's just that it don't phase me. Like, money, money, fame, all of this shit don't phase me. I don't feel like it's how I was supposed to feel. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to feel good about it. I ain't supposed to be with bro. It's not with bro, so I don't feel about it. Mm -hmm. 
You know the ops was waiting and they was ready to poke fun at their laws, no pun intended. Kyle Rich dropped a highly disrespectful track, Naughty Bop featuring Tata and Jen Carter. The lyrics came with a dance that imitated Naughty being shanked. Naughty Bop and I'm bunching my hips, like come here, gotta do it like this, like bop. To add insult to injury, it went viral on TikTok tricking innocent civilians into mimicking the death, not knowing it was disrespecting OYOG's fallen member. From kids to teachers, NBA players to even cops, everybody was getting in on it. Shy EK wasn't going to stand for anybody disrespecting anyone from OYOGs, and he let it be known that he ain't jacking the trend mocking Naughty. The Naughty Bob, I wanted to ask you about, you know, personally, because I saw you made a post about that, how you didn't support it. So, like, how did you feel about it when you first listened to it? I even never looked at the video, never played there. I seen no Instagram, so, like, was so I seen doing it? I'm like, nah, it's whack, bro. Shy E.K. was prepared to stretch something if he caught anybody naughty bopping. That was the first blow to the OYOGs. One more straw would break the camel's back. This brings us to the OY affiliate E. Dot Baby. He was their man's for real, but later that same year, naughty passed. E. Dot would also lose his life by allegedly taking his life. Fans and the whole OYOGs crew was hurting. How how are you and everybody else doing with everything going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. Shy E K would hop on the dedication track to E Dot Baby L L K D with Duty Low and Forty One Heemy, where he would say the legendary line O Y O G we locked in for life. Let's go get that nigga. If he run, we gon' trip that nigga. O Y O G we locked in for life. And for that, I'ma click my trigger. Shy E.K. and Sugar Hill repped heavy in the video. That's why nobody would expect what would happen next. Before E. Dot Baby passed, it was like OYOGs was inseparable. When Sugar Hill Keem got locked for allegedly getting caught flashing the pole online, his mom's posted online confirming he was in Rikers and she was scared that somebody would take his life because on the streets they was already gunning for him. Still, it was vibes with the guys, even with Keem and high spirits behind bars. <laughs> Before E died passed and Keem went inside, they were all living it up. On his final night outside, Keem and OYOGs linked up and had a night to remember. Everybody was basically like family at this point. We vibing on regular shit for me. Niggas know, niggas know who did this shit like for me. Shout out to my son Ikedo, you heard? Okay. OYOGs, you heard? Like, niggas those gold over there, like, gangsta. Couple, a couple, like. Somewhere along the line, things went south between Sugar Hill Keem and Blockwork snitching allegations. You knew what we were here for, right? You knew what we stopped, why we, why we were looking for, right? Yeah, you knew. That's the first thing you said when we, when we approached, when we approached the car. What? Right? Exactly. You're gonna cooperate or you're not gonna cooperate? It just added more weight to the foundation of OYOGs and the next thing you know, bros was beefing. In a crazy turn of events, OYOGs split and it was OGs against Sugar Hill OYs, a cycle that seems to be one of the many curses with the game culture. Friendships never last. Dudes got a superiority complex or something because many times it's just things that simple man-to-man -man communication could solve, but they just take everything up a notch and start dissing. Fans saw something that they thought they would never see. Shy E.K. condemned the Naughty Bob and was ready to spin on anybody that was doing it was now himself one of the key figures doing it, which is crazy. But the caption to the video he posted during the dance gave an idea of what might have triggered the falling out. The caption said when we heard they were smoking our dead, which hints that Sugar Hill may have dropped the ball and disrespected Shy E.K. falling homie first. We heard they were smoking our dead. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Don't, don't drop my shit. Shy E.K. has the weight in the streets, so if he's jacking the trend, it could easily take a simple beef overboard with others rallying around the OGs versus Sugar Hill feud. But hold up now. Shy E.K. man's and OGs affiliate Lefty Goon went online to clear the air about who betrayed who and who caused the OYOGs to fall apart. According to him, OYs was jacking dudes who was dissing Shy E.K. and them fallen homies. I'm just four niggas that's smoking our desk, nigga. And there's a couple niggas over there that's not even jacking them. And y'all still glazing them.
A clip appeared online from a live referencing evidence of just that, and the clip Sugar Hill Boshi is on live with a couple Courtland affiliates, and then Lefty Goon and Shy EK pop in, and Shy is upset and calling out Boshi for jacking dudes that's dissing Diddy and Yellow. Not crazy. What? Why you see? How niggas say Diddy and Yellow? You see? And y'all jacking? Y'all niggas jacking? You jacking that? If you jacking that, niggas that smoking on the boat, you jacking that? When I was like. Lefty and the OGs felt the way cause to them it was like they was riding for the OYs even getting into it with dudes in their own hood form only to be done dirty. We got animals even niggas from my own hood for me for y'all. Y'all niggas is weird. Y'all niggas be forgetting shit. Y'all niggas be forgetting shit. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all niggas be real life forgetting shit bro. That's what I'm trying to say bro. That's all right though. We had real life beef with niggas for y'all. It was crazy how much was going on behind the scenes that built up to the beef. Even in the studio when they were recording the animosity and tension was in the air. We was just in the studio. You keep saying exactly. And when we was in the studio, what the Shaw EK Man's Lefty Goon claims they even tried to talk it out and told Sugar Hill OYs to stop messing with the ops dissing their mans, but instead they joined in and started dissing their mans Diddy and Yellow too. He said, stop with them niggas. Simple as that. Come on. Come on. And y'all kept on. And then y'all jacked when they start smoking Diddy and Yellow. And y'all can't say what y'all dead y'all doing. Things were escalating out of control. Videos hit online of Sugar Hill D dot and them dissing the OGs. And DD Osama brother J Star Baller dissing Shaw EK homies. I know why they really mad. I know why they really mad. Yellow, Daddy, Noah. You look, I can't smoke on this plane right now. I would have been. It's speculated that this was initially posted by Sugar Hill affiliates after hearing Shy EK and OGs was dissing their dead homies, and that's when Shy EK stopped giving a damn and did the naughty bop. The order of who dissed who, first of all, is all over the place because each side is claiming the next side did it first. At this point, things were looking unrepairable. The line OYOGs locked in for life was burnt, with Shy EK's new banger Box Bluff, where he took back what he said and instead said F naughty. We going naughty bop while doing the dance. That was the nail in the coffin between the relationship with the Sugar Hill OYs and the OGs, from friends and brothers making music and walking down on the ops to enemies. Things only got worse between the two. It became an onslaught of online attacks and dissing each other lost without remorse. I don't know man's gonna die on the trail. I don't ever wanna beat him. It was all pandemonium. DD Osama was standing on business saying OGZK, and Shy EK got turned up saying he's OYK to anybody dissing his mans. He was coming for anybody outside, inside, wherever. It was up and stuck. Keep on nothing. I'm OYK, nigga. As if that wasn't sad enough what we were witnessing, Sugar Hill Keem and Shy EK also started going at it. These demands that be on the block together, making music together, and spent Keem last night outside together. 40, 40, 10, 50. I got 20. And now they at each other next, throwing shots online. It's just sad, man. Sugar Hill Keem IG account is one named Mr. Movie. Look, everybody started unfollowing everybody online, signaling the end of an era. Shot EK was done with it, and it was everybody case. Smoking on Naughty and fing Keem, What am I, mother? Anybody thinking it was a joke soon realized it was real in the field when Shot EK and them caught Sugar Hill Sensei lacking the left bro face bloody. Niggas be beating a nigga. Cause eyes closed. Look, why you running? He about to run! Shy EK got online to bask and catching the op lacking. Sensei responded saying that he was jumped while he was so low dolo and still stood 10 toes down. So you gotta give him that at least. He got heart because he wasn't running. He stood right there with dudes around even after they beat him down. All of them was in LLKD music video together with Shy EK showing love to their man's e -Dot baby. Now they running down on each other. Naughty love bro and was always turning up to his music. Oh why OGs was where it was at. DD Osama and Shy EK was online dissing their ops losses together. It was all love and they had each other's backs. I'm talking about Naughty. We suck it on Naughty. Now here we are, with both sides wanting each other gone. The streets take and destroy, and there goes friendships divided and tricked into battling each other. Naughty and E Dot would be sad to see how the OYOGs became. It was like it was all in vain. RIP to them both, man.
And like always, stay strong, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.